I groaned, pausing my Netflix series. It was nine at night. Who could be visiting me that late? I marched over to the door, ready to give whoever it was a piece of my mind. Have you ever gotten off work after a long, grueling shift, finally managed to get all the chores knocked out, and sank into the sofa with your favorite fuzzy blanket, only to be interrupted less than a minute into your show? No, just me. Must be my luck. I peered through the peephole, trying to catch a glimpse of my nighttime visitor. But as if I wasn't already agitated enough, I realized that it was too dark to make out who it was. That left me no choice but to answer the door. I fiddled with the lock, finally yanking the doorknob with a bit more force than intended. I was greeted by the sight of a clean-shaven young man wearing a collared shirt and khakis. Once my gaze fell to the stack of papers clutched in his grasp, I mentally rolled my eyes. A salesman. Great, what do you want? I grumbled. The man's mouth fell open, but the words failed to come out. His hands trembled, and for a second, I thought the papers might fall from his grip. Spit it out, I'm in the middle of something. Yes, ma'am. My name is Archibald, and I'm trying to spread the word about this new weight loss supplement. It's, um, I'd heard enough. I was never one to support those cheesy multi-level marketing scams that people were always advertising on Facebook. No thanks, count me out. I heard Archibald sigh as the door slammed shut in his face. Come on, at least hear me out, he shouted through the wall. Whatever you're selling, I want no part of it. Get lost, I retorted, beelining back to my couch. A sudden twinge of guilt stabbed my heart like an ice pick, stopping me in my tracks halfway to my destination. The kid had looked no older than 21, college age if I had to guess. He did seem nice after all, and I was pretty hostile towards him. He would probably had a bad day himself, and my rudeness sure wouldn't help anything. Not to mention the fact that his name was Archibald. For all I knew, his whole life could have been bad with a name like that. I swung open the door just in time to see the young man slinking down my steps towards a bike stationed on the sidewalk in front of my house. He's been biking around town trying to plug this thing. Okay, now I feel obligated. Hey kid, I shouted. He turned around, his lower lip puffed out and tears welling in his eyes. Sorry for being this rude. Work's been stressful lately. If you want to pitch your product to me, I'm all ears. Make it convincing enough, and I might even consider making a purchase. Archibald's expression lit up like the 4th of July. He looked like a child who'd just been told that they were going to Disney World. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You just made my day. No, my entire week. He beamed, bolting back up my steps. Geez, has this kid made any sales? Obviously not if he's this excited for someone to hear him out, I guess. Okay, so Datura Z is this insane weight loss supplement that totally works, and if not, you get your money back guaranteed. It's super effective with only minimal side effects, and it's completely safe, and it's been tested a lot, and it's really awesome, and cool, and hip and celebrities use it, and whoa, whoa, slow it down there, buddy. You had me at insane. How much does this thing cost? That's the best part. The first bottle is on us, free of charge. He unzipped a fanny pack that was fastened around his waist and produced a white bottle with a green Datura Z label plastered onto the front. Archibald's grin was so wide that I thought the corners of his mouth might tear as he shoved the bottle into my hand. I'd be lying if I said he wasn't starting to creep me out a little. Uh, thanks. I muttered, hesitantly accepting the container. Anytime, ma'am. Don't forget to tell all your friends and family. And remember, when life drags you down, Datura Z does the deed. And with that, he turned, trotted to his bike, and rode off into the night. Well, that's definitely up there with the top five strangest encounters I've ever had. Top five corniest slogans, too. I mean, damn, that was bad. I dropped the pill bottle off at the kitchen counter before returning to my Netflix series. Yeah, it was free and yes, 
I could afford to shed a few pounds, but I wasn't itching to try it or anything. Honestly, I was still extremely skeptical. Come to find out, my apprehension was completely warranted. I blearily rubbed my eyes as my alarm furiously screamed at me. 8.12 AM. I'm so late. I leaped out of bed, hastily threw together an outfit, and zoomed through my morning routine, opting to skip breakfast. Have I mentioned how much I love working a 9 to 5? I mean, I'm clearly cut out for this sort of thing. In my mad dash to the car, I accidentally knocked the bottle of Datura Z from the kitchen counter. I gave it the side eye momentarily, ultimately deciding that it was a problem for my future self to deal with. I stomped out to my car, grumpily trying to fish the keys from my purse. Top o' the morning, Jen. I nearly jumped out of my skin. A man with a beer gut and disheveled hair waved at me from his porch, newspaper in hand. Oh, you startled me, Randy. Morning, I replied, praying that soon my keys would lose our obnoxious little game of hide and seek. Say, have you heard of this new weight loss supplement everyone's been raving about? This Datura Z stuff. Supposedly, it really works. No, sorry, haven't heard of it. I, um, um. Ha, gotcha. Take that, you tricky bastards. I, I'm late for work, I continued, hopping into my car. Talk to you later. Have a good one. I gave a little wave as I sped down the street. I could feel his unfaltering stare boring into the back of my skull as I departed. That was strange. I'd always had the idea that Randy hated me. Maybe he decided to turn a new leaf. Oh well, none of my business. My workday, again, was exhausting. I know. Shocker. Whoever thought that working at a call center would be so taxing? Well, probably a lot of people, honestly. But unfortunately, I wasn't one of them. All that to say, when I arrived home, I was beat. I wanted nothing more than to snuggle up under the covers and nap to my heart's desire. As my awful luck would have it, however, that just wasn't in the cards. I pulled into my driveway and threw my car into park. I began to trudge up to my front door, head hung low, when a shadow suddenly engulfed my field of vision. I glanced up, brows knitted together in confusion. Randy, how's it hangin'? Seriously, Jen, how's it hangin'? Come on, get a grip, girl. Oh, it's hangin' all right. All this extra skin from that weight loss supplement I've been using, that is. Randy lifted up his shirt to show me. I received an eyeful of loose, flabby skin just hanging there. It took everything in me not to vomit into the flower bed. Yeah, I was happy for him, but a middle-aged man's deflated beer gut was the last thing I wanted to see at that moment. Oh yeah, looks great, I said, flashing him a thumbs up. He miraculously put his shirt back down, grinning at me all the while. You gotta try it, Jen. I swear, it really works. I mean, just look at me. I've lost 60 pounds in an afternoon. For the first time that evening, I really drank in his features. Randy did look pretty good. Aside from the amalgamation of flesh clinging to his torso, his appendages were slimmer, he no longer had sausage fingers, and his jawline was sharp enough to cut glass. If he was a good 15 years younger, he'd be a real looker. I'll think about it. I want to do a little more research first. How many of those pills did you take anyway? 37, he proudly boasted, eagerly awaiting my response. Wait, so you're telling me you took 37 pills since this morning? Randy, that's a tad bit extreme, don't you think? I mean, you've got to be careful with this stuff. And to lose 60 pounds in such a short amount of time, I really think you need to see a doctor. We need to get you to. No, Jen, everything's fine. It's just Datura Z working its magic. You need to try it, he exclaimed, aggressively clasping my shoulders. He had a manic look in his eyes, and spittle was gathering at the corners of his mouth. Get off of me. You need serious help, Randy. I mean it. I said, wriggling free and bolting up to my door. Trust me, Jen. Datura Z does thee. I hurriedly flipped the lock, hyperventilating. 
Once the adrenaline began to dissipate from my system, I slumped against the door and just stared into space. What the hell was that? One day we're practically strangers, then the next, Randy acts like we're all buddy-buddy. Over what? Some stupid weight loss supplement. If Datura Z was making people act that irrational, then I wanted absolutely no part of it. If only it was that simple. I was trying my best to salvage a half-burnt casserole when it happened. I received yet another knock at my front door. Coming, just a sec. I yelled, carefully placing my charred dinner onto the stovetop. I nearly slipped on the stray Datura Z bottle that I'd forgotten to pick up when I'd left for work. Suddenly, I was a lot more apprehensive about answering that door. I tried the peephole again, but as expected, it was too dark to see anyone. Who is it? I called through the frame. It's John, you know, from down the street. Just wanted to know if you'd heard of this new weight loss supplement. My blood ran cold. John was wheelchair bound and my front porch wasn't handicap accessible. There shouldn't have been any way for him to have made it onto my doorstep. Uh, yeah, sorry, but I'm not interested. I shouted back, slowly stepping away from the door. Oh, don't be like that, Jen. We all know you could stand to lose some weight. Okay, first off, ouch, and second, I need you to leave, John. I really don't want to have to do this but I'm going to call the police if you don't get off of my property. Suit yourself, Jen. It's your loss. I could hear a muffled cackling emanating through the door, followed by a series of soft thumps. Curiosity got the better of me. I had to know. After a tense moment, I peeled back my curtains and scanned the streets for any sign of John. It didn't take long to find him. John's body was illuminated by the sickly yellow glow of a street lamp. He was lying flat on his stomach, dragging himself by his forearms. His neck suddenly snapped towards me, sending dread coursing through my veins. His eyes, they were wide and bloodshot, a hint of insanity flashing across his pitch-black pupils. John smiled at me. His jagged teeth glimmered in the lamplight as he slowly began to heave himself back towards my house. I threw the curtain back into position and stepped away from the window. My heart felt as if it was about to leap right out of my chest. What the hell was going on with my neighbors? Why was Randy acting so friendly all of the sudden? Why was John crawling around without his wheelchair? None of it made any sense. I needed answers. I booted up my laptop and got to searching. It took hours of sifting through articles to even find anything of value. It seemed as if Datura Z was so new to the market that its manufacturer hadn't even begun advertising yet. That was strange. What I did manage to uncover was that the supplement was derived from the Datura flower, a plant that belongs to the same family as Nightshade. In other words, its effects can be highly toxic. Okay, what the actual? I knew this thing might not be safe, but geez, what can I do about it though? Call the FDA. Oh, I got it. The non-emergency police. That'll do it. Well, I did call the non-emergency police. The operator seemed to take me seriously enough, but unfortunately, the responding officers never showed up. I must have drifted off waiting for them at some point, because the next thing I knew, the alarm on my phone was blaring from somewhere between the couch cushions. I peeled open my eyes, rubbing the crust from my eyelids. As I'm sure you've already guessed, I was yet again late for work. I readied myself as quickly as I could, the events from the day prior slipping from my mind. Only when I reached the door did my memories begin to return. I paused, staring anxiously at the shiny golden doorknob. I bit my lip, and with shaking hands, I pulled it open. I trepidatiously stuck my head out and searched for any neighbors mosing about. I was relieved to find that no one was outside. Still, I wasn't taking any chances. I darted to my car, threw it in reverse, and slammed on the gas until I'd made it into the street. I wasn't taking a chance on anyone stopping me to have a friendly chat about my weight. Nope, nah, not today. Or so I thought. I was steadily cruising, nearly halfway to the main road, when I suddenly slammed on my brakes. 
Someone was blocking my exit. There they were. It appeared as if the whole neighborhood had shown up. They all just stood there, dozens of them. Their wide, depraved grins stretched tightly along their emaciated lids. Every single one of them was bone thin. Some were completely bald, while the lucky ones had a few sparse hairs clinging to their heads. They were like walking skeletons. Paper-thin flesh drooped loosely from their frames. They appeared sickly, like they'd suffered for years from some kind of debilitating chronic illness. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. After a moment of the world's most fear-inducing staring match, someone emerged from the crowd. I squinted, trying to make out who it was. Randy. He shuffled up to my driver's side door. A malicious grin stamped across his face all the while. Before I could will my limbs to move, I heard a knocking at my window. I slowly turned and made eye contact with my next-door neighbor. I immediately regretted it. Randy's face was mere inches from the glass. He had become nearly unrecognizable from the horde of people that stood before me. His face was gaunt, and his eyes were yellow with jaundice. I stifled a scream as Randy, or what was left of him, began to speak. Come on, Jen. You still haven't tried Datrazi. You really should give it a shot. I mean, just look at me. I'm down 142 pounds in a little more than a day, he rasped. He sounded as if he was on a solid diet of broken glass and rusty nails. No, I'm fine. Please let me go to work now, Randy. I really can't afford to be late again. I squeaked, averting my gaze. Randy began to cackle maniacally. The entire crowd followed suit. A cacophony of monotone laughs erupting into the air. And then, silence. I trembled violently as I turned my attention back to Randy gripping the steering wheel for dear life. He smiled sadistically at me and said, that shouldn't be a problem. We'll make this quick. My eyes grew wide as dinner plates as the crowd of skeletons began marching towards me. My fight or flight finally kicked in and I did the only logical thing I could think to do. I floored it in reverse. Once I was far enough away, I pulled a three-point turn and beelined back to my house. I would have driven straight to the local police station if I had the chance, but all my exits were blocked. The horde was making progress by the time I shut myself inside. They were still a ways down the road, but gaining on me quickly. I locked every door and window in the house and immediately called 911. I told them that there were intruders breaking into my home and that I needed police services pronto. And that leads me to where I am now. I've barricaded myself in my room. I've blocked all entry points, and I'm huddled in the closet. It's complete pandemonium outside. Determined to find the cause of the outbreak, I grabbed that wretched bottle of Dachera Z in my panic. I got chills once I read the warning label. Disclaimer. This is an experimental drug with heavy known side effects. If you are experiencing symptoms of hair loss, brain bleeds, stroke, seizures, complete mental collapse, multiple personality disorder, hive mind mentality, or even death, please stop taking Datura Z and call your doctor immediately. As far as I know, this is contained to just my neighborhood. I don't think anyone from outside my gated community has been affected, but I can't be sure. They'd broken into my house now. I can hear them outside of my door. Now, all I can do is pray that the cops get here before I'm turned into one of those mindless husks. Please, if you're reading this, I'm begging you. No matter what you do, stay far, far away from Datura Z.